Hey, what's up, guys? Dark Wrecker here. In today's video, we are gonna try the Bruiser Hakerim build. In the previous video, we've made Aria gameplay with the full lethality uh, assassin build for Hikarim. And in this game, we're gonna just gonna showcase the potential of a Bruiser build and how strong Hikarim can be and how tanky he will be and how much sustain this guy has when you're running this uh bruiser build with black cleaver divine sundra and death dance and on top of that you can either choose face rush or conqueror hope you guys will enjoy it and let's get started so we're still gonna run the um, lucidity boots for the cooldown reduction since your cooldown your ability cooldowns for second and third ability are very high so this is super useful and then uh, usually we you could also run stone plate by the way so either quicksilver slash so you don't uh, don't get kite against crowd control or stone plate for more shielding and team fights but it reduces your damage to be fair when you're using stone plate uh black cleaver as the main core item it gives you armor threat your really good stats as well and movement speed divine sundra against tanky champions is a great option uh, for the percentage damage and for the percentage healing on top of that gives you a lot of HP and ability haze as you guys can see It's all about stacking ability haze because ability haze allows you to spam your abilities uh, much more often Death dance for physical damage mitigation gives you healing whenever champion dies as well and then on top of that even more ability haze so at this point you have from Yeah, you have 30 from CDR boots, then another 20 from Black Cleaver, another 25 from Divine Sundra, and Death Dance 15, so a lot of ability haste. Then Starks Gauge gives you a lot of HP and uh, gives you tenacity as well, and the lifeline passive for more shielding when you're low life, and Guardian Angel for the revive. Other good options could be Dead Man's Plate, provides you with movement speed and force of nature as well, and then depending whether or not you need armor or magic resistance, Otherwise, you could potentially get Manamune after Black Cleaver for a more damage oriented build, since Manamune gives you so much additional damage on your first ability every time. And otherwise, maybe if you guys need to, you could also put in Stereo Scratch if the opponents are way too tanky and you guys want some armor threat percentage. Plus, it gives you additional abilities and slow. For the runes you have two options, either Face Rush, since it provides you with a lot of abilities, additional movement speed, or Conqueror if you guys feel like you lack damage and you want to have more attack damage, and Omnivamp. For the runes Triumph, uh, it's pretty good since we have a lot of HP, we get a lot of healing value every time a champion dies. Then, I mean it really depends, I think if you're running a Bruiser build, most likely you're playing against a tank composition, right? Or very heavy crowd control composition. Then Giant Slayer against those tanks, you will do additional 14% damage. Then Tenacity, Legend Tenacity. And Nimbus Cloak, I think it's core in the jungle. Just provides you with so much more movement speed. And more movement speed means more damage. But yeah, that's great. And let's get started. Bam. Okay. Getting uh, Domination or Precision on Hikarim. Wait, I can start boots, right? I could just start boots, huh? Or not? Okay, I will try blue blue start this time. The last time I started on Crux, this time I'm starting blue. How did you get profile picture on a wild trip? Because I'm Giga Chat. Or maybe it's a Chinese client where you have to lock in with WeChat. What I don't like is the charge, by the way. I really don't like the charge because you have to double, uh, double tap. You have to double tap, otherwise you're always charging. The opponents are? Oh, they're even a little bit tanky. That's not bad then. Oh god. Oh, please don't reset. Oh no. No! Oh my god. I fucked up the pool. <sighs> okay. Tragic. No, this is scuffed. Do I int it?
方中路防御塔正在被攻击。Well, this is very ganking, huh? Hmm. Oh, he survives. Okay. Oh, that fear though, okay. You have slain an enemy. Oh, okay. Sometimes you do need the other range. Okay, let's reset by boots and then the red clear. Yeah, it has more range because you can charge it. I can see the like this. You can charge it. Like if you charge it completely, it's really big range. Like look at this. I think that is like an easy target to gank though. Probably, maybe. Actually, yes. Nice. Can I charge onto the truth? Yes, I can. More damage when you charge, yes. When you charge, you get movement speed, so you get more damage. And the charge is also stronger the longer you're charging. And about the personality, I'm pretty sure it's the same damage, it's just increasing the range. And you can double tap to cancel the charge, so it's a shorter, shorter range and quicker, quicker cast time. Okay. I mean, don't mind me, I'm playing on 300 MS. Oh, he dashed back in, huh? Oh, they're fighting bot side again. Wait, they died. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's buy items. If you guys wondering, we're trying a Bruiser build out. After the first video I did for Hikarim was full ability. So we're going to try a more Bruiser orientated build for him. So you want to run this when that a little bit more tanky and they have a lot of core control, I guess. I'm really not a fan of... I'm too late. Honestly, I'm too lazy to always double tap to cancel. I'm just going to go full charge. But you can do this, for example, doing two camps at the same time. Ooh. Coming with a charge! Coming with a charge! Okay, I'm inting. Oh my god, I'm inting this. What? Oh, he survived! Oh my god. Yikes! Oh, I'm such an inter for this. Actually, I'm an inter. Still alive though. Nice. I wonder how quick I can do the uh, rift tilt. Let's see. The bots play better. I mean, I already told you, bots play better than grandmasters. I'm not kidding. Bots play better than some grandmasters, and I wish I was capping. It's it's the truth. What are they doing though? What's that dive? Double kill. Enemy 
<laughs> what is that type though? I wonder if I should still run um, Mana Mune for the ability haste. But I guess Divine Sundra and Death Dance gives you so much ability haste as well. And you don't really have mana issues since you're running um, Jungle. So you have blue buff. Okay, let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna try something. Look at the movement seat I have right now. Oh no. Oh my god, he just condemned me back. I'm a horse! <laughs> I'm a horse! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I feel like his damage is not that insane though. Like uh, even on lethality I felt like his damage was not that insane. I fucked up the charge though. You're, you're not stacking your Qs, but it's uh, it's scuffed to stack your Q. I'm not kidding, it's really scuffed to stack Q in because you don't have the you have you don't have the same Q. Like I have to double tap. It's really annoying. Like I'm too lazy. Like you have to double stack, right? Right? Like this stacking your Qs. Like you can stack it before, but why why is there no stack counter for the Hikarium Q? I wish they put like a Q stack. I know it's like three stacks on PC, right? But they they, they don't have it here. It appears on the Q, okay. I mean, I've never played this shit. I thought on PC it's three stacks. Yeah, smile is so useful for the additional movement speed, by the way. I mean, I am clearly stacking the Q, no? Remember, the second ability also gives you resistance, by the way, so that's pretty useful. W then E are yeah, true for the resistance. But I mean, to be fair, I'm fat. I guess you just stack on uh, on camps beforehand, right? Oops. I told this, I told this, I told this, I told this. I should be able to dash over the wall, huh? So you have to stack before and before you do this, okay. How long does it last? Like, that's why I need like a passive counter, that would be nice, right? 
if you had like a passive counter we can see okay how many stacks we have how long is it uh like when it's gonna run out so you have to i think on pc you probably see it right on pc you probably have the stack counter but not in world drift that's strange Honestly, I'm not sure. Like, when I tried Lethality, I'm really not sure if Lethality is the best because you're damn squishy. Pretty damn squishy. No, Ghostplay, watch on YouTube. I let you play it on YouTube already. Like, full Lethality build. No. Oh shit. Oh! No, I survived this. I wonder if you can run like a Twin Guard build as well, like going full tanky. Like, when I played Lethality, I didn't feel like I have that much damage, but I think it might maybe be just ping. Because I remember I'm playing 300 MS. So my combos and everything is uh, giga scuffed. Like it was the same for Yone. When I played Yone or Gwen, it's giga scuffed on ping. Like I think when you're playing without ping, it's... Like imagine I play 19 MS, it's gonna be way way easier and better than what I have right now. Even the bot knows, how, uh, bot knows how to kite better than Grandmasters. Lethality you also go more mana? Yeah, I had more mana. I know. Watch the video. I went mana immune, you moose. Mm. Then, I mean, it depends. You can run Black Cleaver, you can run, say, Reader, Edge of Night. I'm not sure, maybe it's just Kong. But, I mean, everyone is, everyone is running. That's the question though. Everyone is running face rush. What's better, face rush or conqueror? With Rusa go Kong, but I mean Lethality I went. Lethality I went face rush. On Lethality face rush, Rusa is Kong, okay. GG's. Well, you think about Tikkur? I'm not sure. Victory. I, I need to try him when I have no ping. I think the biggest difference is like having ping or not. Maybe that's good. Gonna be for the game. When do introduction for this build as well? Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright.